it's Harley here at Big Deeds. All right, guys, I got another great video for you all out here in the beautiful weather. It's so nice out. Um, show you outside. This is Parkville, Maryland. Um, I have today an update for you about how things are going, how things are going during this crazy time. Here at Big Deeds, we're all about elevating you, elevating your mind, body, and soul, trying to bring you uh, higher. We want to get you to biohack your body, soul, and mind so that you can win, biohack your way to the top, right? So today I wanna to talk to you, you know, I'm getting that beautiful vitamin D, you know, Chef Deeds needs that vitamin D. I wanna tell you guys today about how things are going. What are, what are things like during these tumultuous times? So I wanna to talk to you about what is the shopping experience like? Um, so. I gotta tell you a story about my mom. She went on Friday. Today is Sunday. So that was two days ago. So Montgomery County is a little bit worse off than here in Baltimore County. Baltimore County, last I heard, it had about 30 people with the coronavirus, COVID-19. We're in the midst of this virus crisis, but we gotta stay strong together. We gotta band together and uh, you know, stay strong, stay going towards our goals. Um, so my mom went on Friday and the stores are ransacked in Montgomery County. Uh, things are taken off the shelves. So my brother went, I believe it was earlier than that, maybe on Thursday or so. And my brother, Joey, shout out Joey. He, made, he was making some cooking videos. So Joey, he went out there and tried to get, pick us up some food, you know, some good eats, some good meats, some good vibes. And he said at Safeway, it was tough. They were rationing, rationing. You know, in Montgomery County, restaurants are closed. Businesses are closed. Good vibes are not closed though. Good vibes are always open 24 seven. So Joey, he tried to go out there. He said Safeway, they, 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 it was ransacked. They're rationing food out there. Obviously there ain't no toilet paper on the shelves. No, people keep taking that. Think about the others, guys. Don't take everything. Leave, don't take that last item. Except for the bacon. You might want to grab as much of that as you can because you got to take that because this protects the immune system, you know? But don't, don't, uh, make sure if you do take the bacon, you cook it up and share. Share with your friends and family. So, yeah, it was tough. Then my mom went out. She went out shopping and she went out to Aldi in Rockville, Maryland, Montgomery County, Rockville, Maryland. And it was, she was waiting an hour in the huge line. She got there an hour before the store opened. You know, the stores have reduced hours these days. And she went there and she was um, just trying to pick up some food for the family. You know, we got nine kids, a few of them in Australia, uh, two of them in Australia. One of them is living in Dallas, Texas. We got Joey, uh, back. Uh, Michael's living at home on weekends. Here's my brother, Michael. Shout out, Michael. Um, Josh is going to West Virginia University, but a lot of them are coming home because colleges are getting canceled for the semester. And they're do just doing online classes now. But she, my mom got there an hour before the store opened and she was waiting this huge line, getting in conversations with people. She was praying in line and all that. And she said, as soon as the store opened, people made a beeline to the toilet paper section, just ransacking that section. Yeah, that's don't 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 be like that. Consider the others, you know. Um, but so she was just shopping. She said that you can't just go and get what you normally get. You gotta see what's left because you know the, the only things that might be left are things that you don't normally get. So she was picking up things that she doesn't normally get because you just. You only got what's on the shelves now and you know with the reduced hours it's yeah it's difficult there and she said that she was filling up her cart you know for the for the people and people were muttering and saying oh this is the reason why we have the grocery pr problem because she was filling up her cart but she was saying that uh, she was telling them hey i'm just doing what everybody else did like a month ago because um it's a um you know, it's a, it's a tough world out there. Uh, people got to stock up. I mean, we really got to stock up though.
do it ethically. You know, don't take everything, but you do got to stock up because we have no idea what's happening. Uh, aside from the, we have no idea if the grocery stores are going to get closed. You might as well stock up now because they, they, there might be even more limited access in the future. You should see the meat sections. I've been to a few grocery stores in the past few days. The meat sections are ransacked. That's tough for a carnivore like me. So I stocked up with a lot of corned beef and I can't wait to be cooking that. But I just, whew, it's tough. They got a whole freezer full of corned beef because that was like 75% marked down. So yeah, guys, make sure you stock up because especially because as the coronavirus spreads more and more, uh, there might be uh, some viral particles in the grocery stores. Right now, I think it's okay because the um, it's a little early in the pandemic for these parts, but um, there, there, there may be people that were going out to the shelves and picking up stuff and looking at it. They might have been spreading some viral particles to that stuff, but if you're in a situation like it's still in the early stages here in Baltimore County, you might still be okay. You might still be able to like not worry about it too much. So I'm not worrying about it too much, but I know how it, how it might, it might be getting, uh, shortly. It might be getting uh, a lot worse. So I'd rather go and handle all that food now, as opposed to later on when there might be some viral particles on the food. But now I, I still feel like it's safe. And it's interesting seeing how Baltimore County there is not as far along as it is in Montgomery County. And so I, it's like, I can see the different stages, you know, each, each county and city is progressing because certain areas, especially more populated areas, are progressing into further stages of the pandemic. So make sure you keep those good vibes. Uh, I just want to give this, this little update of what shopping's like. A lot of uh, things are, it says you limit to, um, to a certain amount of items. So like, for example, eggs, you can only get two dozen eggs per customer. But if you go with a friend, maybe you could get two and then they could get two. That's how I did with my wife. I got two dozen and then she got two dozen because, you know, eggs is so important. Got a lot of fat in there. It's uh, get a lot of meats because, uh, you know, protect your immune system during this time of the coronavirus. Uh, there's stuff in meat that can help you to prepare your immune system and specifically fight against the coronavirus. So make sure you eat a lot of meat, a lot of eggs. So good for you, keeps your energy levels up, make sure you're not hungry, helps you not be in this uh, cycle of up and down, up and down where you're hungry because when you eat a, the standard American diet that's heavy in carbohydrates, you are constantly getting hungry and uh, your insulin levels are spiking whenever you eat those carbohydrates and the, the, the regular spiking of your insulin levels, that will cause you to be hungry and it makes it harder for you to fast and live off your body fat. So if during times of scarcity, it's good to be able to have this, uh, be easy, in a ketogenic state, so you're very easily able to use your body fat. If there's not a lot of food around or you need to go out and about, you don't need to stop and get food. Um, so, uh, you know, when you eat a lot of carbohydrates, your insulin level spikes, and then you, uh, your body uh, takes in that glucose. Those, that glucose is taken into your fat stores. And then you're hungry again because the glucose is taken out of your system. So your blood sugar spikes and your insulin spikes and uh, blood glucose is taken out of your uh, bloodstream. And then what ends up happening is you're hungry again. But when you're in the ketogenic state, when you're fat adapted, when you're living, when you're used to using fat for fuel, you don't have those spikes where you keep getting hungry throughout the day. It becomes incredibly easy to fast, to eat once a day, to do a 24 hour fast, a 48 hour fast. It becomes incredibly easy. So it's very good, especially during these times of potential scarcity. So please guys, Stay positive, help your community, um, be good and kind to others, um, and stay watching Big Deeds during this time when you're cooped up in your uh, households and you need to you know, get some good entertainment and education so you can learn how to biohack your body, mind, and soul so you can get to the top 
and stay positive and, and healthy. Be positive, get outside, get the vitamin D, practice social distancing, you know, uh, so you don't spread the disease, but be sure to stay productive, stay going after your goals. All right, guys, I love you guys, and I really like you guys a lot. All right, peace.